We finally got you! Where have you been wandering around? Yuri... Lowell... <sighs> Sodia? So what's up with Flynn? Oh, right. Many people have fled this continent since that monster covered the sky. But some opposed using a guild fleet to protect the Empire. Flynn could not abide that. A fleet attacked by monsters landed on Hypionia. We fought, but they kept gaining. We alone were sent for aid, but all the knights are spread all over the world. We have no other choice but to ask for your help. But we're too late. Commander Flynn must be... Wow, could you be any more worthless? What did you say? You give up already? Everything you've done, what was it all for? I... I did it all for Commander Flynn, even that one time. Huh. <laughs> you talk about doing it all for Flynn, but you're just whining. You gave up. You forgot your resolve. Resolve? Yo, Applehead. You said Hypionia, right? Y yeah All right. I'll be back soon. All of you get ready to go to Tarkaron. I'm going too. Yeah! Me too! You keep forgetting us! I'm glad you want to come, but this seems pretty bad. That's even more reason not to let you go alone. I don't think Ba'ul will listen to you either. All for the Guild and the Guild for All, right? Well, if we're out of time, let's go and get it over with. I will follow you to the day I die, and with more moxie than a snapping moray eel. Okay, okay, so let's get going. Yeah! Brave Vesperia, charge! Arr! Go get him! All right, Sodia. Let's reform the support units. Oh, okay. Yuri Lowell. Yuri Lowell! Why? Why didn't you call me out for my actions that time? I... I tried to kill you! Oh, I'm not letting it go. But I don't have time to deal with someone who gave up on everything. I haven't given up. No? So why haven't you gone to help Flynn, even alone? You wanted to protect him so badly you'd kill me! Why won't you protect him now? I... I can't protect him by myself. Please, save him. Please. You don't have to tell me to do that. Please. You know, there's one thing I agree with you on. Hmm? I'm a criminal. I can be killed anytime. Flynn is the perfect knight. A perfect leader. He doesn't need a criminal by his side. Uh, I'm just standing in until the right person comes along. Yuri. Flynn always seems to put himself in danger. He's always that way. He doesn't mind getting hurt if it means protecting others. Yeah, he gets a little crazy sometimes. Like you're any different. Birds of a feather, right? I'd say we're all like that. Like what? We all stuck with brave Vesperia, even when the going got rough. <laughs> I guess none of us can just let things go. Right, so we can't just let Flynn go either. Yeah, exactly. Well, since we can't let it go, I think it's time we get a little crazy. sure if I buy it at all. How can you be the famous Ifrit? There's not a lot we know about Ifrit. I was certain he was a man. Cypher is the one who dealt with people outside of the Siren's Fang, so lots of folks believed he was Ifrit. Um, 
Do you plan to tell the world the truth about the Black Hope Massacre? A tale that's infamous won't vanish overnight. Besides... Besides what? As long as you all know the truth, that's enough to satisfy me. Then we're the bearers of Ifrit's story. A serious duty. But it does bind us together as friends. <laughs> I don't mind a burden like that. <sighs> well, I guess if I have to... Hmm? Let an old man join in the fun. <coughs> May our relationship continue to blossom. Thanks! You're all too sweet, Cypher. I finally met a crew that I can trust like I trusted you. Is that it down there? That's some cloud of dust! Are those all monsters? This seems to be a counter-effect of Astal's losing control. It's as if the monsters of the world all came and gathered here. Is Flynn really down there somewhere? Probably. What next? We're gonna fight every single one of them? Fine by me! Just give us two days and we'll beat them all. Probably. Two? You can't be serious! Rita, can't we use that Dane Nomos you made? You gonna blow them away like doing it to the Atafagos? Right. Applying directivity to the power of spirits and forming a barrier-like force field to eliminate the monsters... Yes, it should be possible. But this was made to be used against the Atafagos, right? But this is our only option now. To use it now, or wait till later? This is quite the conundrum. Could you let us use it, please? I beg you to, the Dane Nomos. I want to believe it can save mankind. Yes, if we can't deal with this easily, there is no way we could stand up against the Atafagos. All right, let's do it. It's rare to hear Yuri ask for a favor like that. It's our chance to do Yuri a favor! Cut it out, guys. So, what's our plan? Activate it in the area where the monsters are all concentrated. That's it. Simple, right? Yeah, it is. No kidding. Why don't we give it a name? We can't just call it the Rita de Nomos. Huh? I'll leave it up to you. Uh, hmm. Uh... I got it! How about the Vesperia Number One? I should have known better. It's got a nice ring to it. Besides, it's nice and simple. Even Ba'ul will need to keep some distance. I'll land further away. Okay, let's do it. all over the world, and none of them are true. 
ultimate adventurers are people who turn legends into reality, right? So what's this paradise like? Who knows? Where is it located? Don't know. Is there anything you do know? Mystery is part of the romance. It's like your magical research, Rita. My research gives clear-cut answers. Don't compare it to your fairy tales. Patty, it's useless trying to explain it to someone like Rita. Man, could you be any weaker? One shot should do. You picked the wrong people to fight with. yourself killed if you keep watching me fight. <laughs> come on. I'm just in awe of the great Flynn Shifo. Sh shut up! Hey, this isn't the time to get worked up. I am not worked up! It's okay. Don't hide it. Would you be serious for once? I am serious. I can't concentrate with you talking all the time. Well, I can't concentrate without talking, so we're kind of stuck. How about this? Come <laughs> on. 
I gotta try and keep up. Alright, who's next? Come forth, spirits of the world! Use this! Sorry, that's Pretty good, Commandant. You're not too bad either. I've unlocked new strength. We're about to the middle. I'm still up for some more fighting. <laughs> you look like you're actually having fun in the middle of all this. <laughs> you do too. Now, Yuri! Right. Take this! There. That should be okay for now. Th thank you so much. Your Highness. Don't push yourself, okay? Vesperia number one broke, huh? I'm sorry. Yeah, seems like the materials we used to make the body were too brittle. It was our fault. Don't worry, the core's fine, and I can repair it. It's just... What a sad ending. Estelle has saved their lives, but they shouldn't move for a while. I guess we have to stay and defend them for a little more. So why not just make this a fort? It's been a while, Yuri. I've heard stories about brave Vesperia. I guess the mercenaries I hired weren't sufficient. Sorry for the trouble. I'm sure the guilds are in chaos right now, too. Thank you for your help. It won't really make up for things, but I'll help with the defense. You're going to fight? Oh no, I'm a merchant. Just watch. Commander Flynn, you're alive! Witcher! Is something wrong? Yes. That tower near Ospio has created an unusual formula around itself. Judging by the crests, it's absorbing some kind of power. In addition, all residents throughout Elikia have reported feeling strange. Absorbing? Feeling strange? Is it absorbing human life? Duke. Life is very pure mana. Does he intend to use it to attack? This is what he meant by exchanging all human life to destroy the Atafagos. The formula is expanding in stages. At this rate, it could affect the entire world. No! We can't just stand around. But the spirit's power alone won't be enough. Even if we repair Vesperia number one, that alone won't be enough. What? But it took out all those monsters! Judging by the size of the Autophagos, we'd need several hundred times the power. Several hundred? That's gonna be tough. Facing this calamity is going to take an insane amount of power. I guess we have no choice but to change the cores to spirits. Wait, could you explain what you're talking about? Oh yeah, we meant to talk to you all about it. Hey Flynn, we want to tell Yoder and the guilds too. Can you call them here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yuri. You seriously want him to call the Emperor to a place like this? You never change. I could say the same for you, Yuri. What? <laughs> okay, I'll see what I can do. In exchange, you all go talk to the people of the Union in Palastrale. Okay. So I guess we're off to Dongrest and Nordopolica? Yeah. Mind giving us a ride?
Yuri, thank you for, um, saving Flynn. <sighs> you guys go on ahead first. I'll catch up. I'm not gonna tell anyone. Why? Because I can understand why you tried to kill me back there. There's something you just want to protect, even if it means dirtying your own hands. You lose your senses in the heat of the moment and find yourself doing things you'd never imagine. I know what I have done is unforgivable. It would have been easier if you'd blame me for this. Don't flatter yourself. Don't think I'm here doing this for your own good. I'm not going to put the blame on you just so you can ease your conscience. What should I do? I have no intention of lecturing you about rights and wrongs. Go figure it out yourself. If you can't, go ask someone you can talk to about this. But not me. As Flynn's friend, I'm grateful for the loyalty you've shown towards him. <sighs> Yuri's not too fond of young Sodia, is he? I can see where he's coming from, though. Everything about her feels hard as a rock. That's not exactly easy to like. Ah, cut her some slack. Knights are all a little square. She has a stubborn nature that quick to act folks like you and Yuri don't. And that's a good thing. Stubborn is good? You totally lost me there. I figured I would. That's why we can't talk without getting on each other's nerves. Understand. We'll wait here until you return. Yes, thank you. That Nat sure is a man of understanding. We got his approval really fast. He's seen the world change before his very eyes. He doesn't have an ounce of suspicion when it comes to others. I wonder if the Union and the Polistrale can get along. Of course they can. They're of the same guild after all. That's right. Now is the time to put their differences aside and join forces. They'll have to get along. I, quarreling only aids you in understanding one another and forges true friendships. We'll be their bridge over troubled waters. You're right.
This figurine is lovely. Figurine? I'd say it's more like a toy, really. You must not have seen many things like this in the castle, Estelle. I'd like to see more of these figurines. And thus, a figurine collector is born. Oh, some people are just more interested in aesthetics than others, Yuri. It's not all that unusual. Yeah, I don't really have any interests outside of Blastia. I've always been a fan of cool guild emblems myself. What about you, Yuri? Huh? I've never really given much thought to artistic sorts of things. I never really looked at anything like art. Ask me! Ask me! Ask me what I like! Girls! Girls. Th th that's right. We know it's right. So are you telling me to go all the way out to the countryside? I wonder if this place is any good. This place is no good, and Zaphius won't work either. We gotta make these things fair for everyone. This is something important, for the Empire and for the guilds. Hmm. I'm not going to be used like some messenger. I don't want to leave Dongrest at a time like this. It's up to you, Harry. All right. I guess I'll be going. What? This is important! You're just gonna decide like that? It's all right. I'm not going to question Harry's decision back there. Hmm. That settles it. We'll be back at the Little Prince's earliest convenience. Okay. Let's go back to where Flynn and the others are. Maybe they've made some progress. Yeah, let's head back first. Raven, you haven't fought with us much at all, have you? Oh no, quite the contrary. What do you mean? Well, you all have been busy fighting your own battles. I've been doing some fighting of my own. Are you saying we've just been too caught up with our own fighting to notice? Huh? But, but I looked over during a battle the other day. You were just hanging around like normal. Well, you never know when the demons of sleep or hunger will rear their ugly heads. I see. That must be tough, what with the lack of urgency or any real danger. <laughs> and yet you always suffer a crushing defeat. It's so true. So maybe you can swap me in sometime soon? I'll work hard.
Hey, Yuri, something's weird about Judith. Judy's always weird. You're terrible. Can't you see how stressed I am? What's the matter? Did something happen? I'm just... just not helpful at all, am I? That's not true. Why would you say that? No, you don't have to pretend. I'm too weak, I know it. You? Weak? Trust me, nobody thinks that at all. No, it's all right. Don't try to make me feel better. It's easier for me this way anyway. You're bored, aren't you? Not being able to fight? Oh. Is that what you're worried about? No, it's okay. I can handle the boredom. Besides, I have Baul to talk to. Ugh. They've already built this much? I can't believe the city's come this far so quickly. And it doesn't look like they used magic. Look. Looks like they burned themselves out. Looks like the knights put up a fight too. I guess this is what people do when they work together. In the moment of truth, people manifest amazing strength. Just like fish caught on a line. Yeah, this just goes to show you people always manage somehow. So, how do you like it? Hats off to you. How are things on your end, Yuri? We talked to them. We also told them that we'd talk to His Majesty when we could. Okay, I talked to His Majesty, and it looks like he'll come. He's coming by ship now. He's taking the slow route. I'll take Baul to pick him up. Harry and Nats, too. Really? Won't Baul get angry? There's no time, right? Baul understands that, too. That would be a great help. There's no time left. So the leaders of the world will finally come together. Now we just have to see if they understand what we're doing. And if the diplomatic approach doesn't work, there's always fisticuffs. These people have gone through so much to get here. I just know they'll understand. Yeah. Spirits. Adefagos, Duke. Turn all the world's cores into spirits. It's an extraordinary story. I know it's hard to believe, but that's the reality we're up against. No more Blastia, no more barriers? There would be so much chaos. If we don't do it, then we're all gone, either by Duke or the Adefagos. There may be no choice, but do you really think people will listen? I don't think anyone hopes for a future of destruction. We can keep moving forward, even if it's hard. Yeah, that's why we're doing this. The Empire's duty is to prevent confusion and guide people to the future. Now is the time to reign for the people. We'll have our hands full. Making new things that will serve for Blastia. Oh, there's business to be done. We have to think of a way to fight off the monsters without the barriers. The Mercenary Guild and Hunting Blades won't be enough! What about combining the Reform Knights with the Guilds? Sounds interesting, but I don't know if it'll go smoothly.
You're not going to stay until the end? That's not our job. Yeah, that's stuff for the important people to work out. Somehow I think people will have a harder time than they're thinking. It's their job to get ready for that. Our job... We have to crush the Autophagos and stop Duke. Aye, we've got to sail the course we've plotted. I see. Sorry, we left all the dirty work to you. That's my line. We always leave the hardest part to you all. I apologize. All right, we got work to do. But how are we supposed to access all the world's cores? I think I know a way. There was something in the research Alexei and Barbos did. Some note about creating a network of Blastia. Really? Where's that note? Um, I brought it with my personal things. H hey, wait! You can't just go looking at people's stuff! Oh, I'm going to. They just took off. Brave Vesperia is as lively, no as rowdy as ever. That's just how we are. Looks like there's a tiny bit of hope. Yes, it does. I'm sure she'll find an answer if she's that worked up. Let's just hang out until she does. <laughs>